Exciting. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we have three 30 second shoulder stretches for frozen shoulder, which is adhesive capsulitis. Mm -hmm. What? Well, Bob, these, <laughs> these are the, these exercises I, I th are my favorite. When I have my patients, this is my go to for this style. Yeah, and we try to keep it simple. Uh, you know, a lot of us don't have a lot of time, and we want to, you know, Three, that's, by the way, that's the number people can remember. Right. And they, they found that out in the uh, Marines. Oh, they, really? Yeah, if they made it four, people start forgetting the fourth ah, thing. Ah, sure. But the three things they would remember. So that's just a little trivia for you. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, yes, sir, you're going to, yes, ma'am. <laughs> what is that, Brad? <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. You're going to want to go to the Facebook, Bob and Brad, because we, once again, are giving away something. All this, like this whole month and a half, uh, every Sunday we're giving away something. We're going to give away, I think this week we're giving away a mattress again. But go there, you'll find out. Right. Or look down in our description below. There you go. So, it's all, all right. there. So frozen shoulder, you got a, a, a shoulder that typically, you know, you get up into this area and it just doesn't go anymore. It's, we're not, I don't want to get into too much detail because uh, these exercises will not only work just for a frozen shoulder, but after a surgery, if you have really any tight shoulder, any tight shoulder, yeah, you even if you, you've had not really any issue uh, besides maybe you've had pain. Uh, this is a way to regain the pain, uh, regain the motion. Right. The, the thing about adhesive capsulitis, it, you know, to some extent, it's going to, it takes a while to resolve no matter what you right, do. Right, right. I mean, it's got the freezing stage and the thawing stage. Right. Uh, but during that time, you do want to do stretches. So. Why is Liz laughing at us? Can we go on? I want to show right. them the stretches. We're okay. waiting, Bob. They're All right. patiently waiting. All right. Let's use, you do need. The ball. All right. The, uh, the ball. ball gives you a tremendous amount of leverage, and it makes it very easy to do. Uh, and you put the big ball, you need a ball about this diameter. The size isn't real critical. Um, so here we go, like this. Your and ball let, on a let's table. say this is my shoulder that I only can get this far. I just used this actually last week on a patient. That's why I wanted to do this video. It worked so well for her. And you put both hands on the ball. And here, my shoulder, we want to get it up to here eventually. So I'm going to just roll the ball. And if you look at the shoulder, it's down at about 10, 20 degrees. And I'm going to go up to about 45 in a stretch, stretch. So the good arm is going to help. That's pushing the ball. And you're not going to keep, a lot of my patients, they'll keep their hands kind of like glued on, like you're supposed to wrap it around the ball. Don't do that. Just go like this and think about rolling up to your elbow. Then you can use this hand to push or eventually just go to one hand and get out to here and you can really get a nice and the stretch thing, Yeah, there. the thing I found about this, Brad, is one, you're in control. Right. Which uh, patients really like. And two, it's just really a sneaky way of, and often pain-free way of getting more motion. Right. It's exactly. just very, very comfortable. Yeah, and, and you know, these, it just really works well. I just can't say enough about how easy. I use this so much with uh, patients with shoulders. Um, you actually can work on internal and external rotation too oh, a little sure. bit. You can go like this and, yep. and like this and, right. and work uh, the shoulder going this way and this way so you can yep. get more directions. Good point. So, and, you know, you can work abduction, abduction too. Abduction too, yeah. So going you can off work to the side. all of it. Typically, I always start with flexion because once flexion goes the other uh, ranges typically follow, yeah. so this is my go-to uh, initial stretch. You actually can work on extension, yep, too. Yeah, behind you as well. Yeah. It's the beauty of the ball, It's Bob. the beauty of the ball. Okay. I agree. So now the next one is you can simply go to the wall. Over here, Liz. <laughs> I need you the want, wall. You want the smaller ball, though, don't you? Well, actually, you, I'm going to start with the big ball, Bob. All right, but we do you want, want the small one? Yeah, bring the small this one? one over. Yeah, bring it over. Can't do as well as you do. Because if you don't use the table, once it starts getting better and you're, you're getting up to about this level with your shoulder, it's stretching out to about 90 degrees, you can simply go to the wall and both hands, and you're just going to go up like this and use some of your body weight and stretch right into it. And okay. now you're getting a little bit of strengthening too, aren't you, Brad? Yep. 
Exactly. Good point, Bob. Not, now, not a great of deal, but enough that, you know, for, especially if you've had surgery and, and you're allowed to do this now. Right. It, you know, you can start getting a little bit of strength in there. And, you know, this is one of those things that's that, that thing. Do you like to stretch and hold it for 30 seconds, which you can do? I would not go over that. I personally have my patients, I just say pressure on, pressure off, and I have real good luck with that. And uh, people don't seem, they, they seem to tolerate it better when you do that. Now, yeah, you it's can, more comfortable. Give, give me the smaller ball, Bob. Now, you can take a smaller one, and actually smaller you than this. You can even go smaller than that. Oh, you right. bet. It's nice if they're a little squishy, though. That makes it a little easier. With the small ball, it's just one hand. This is when you're getting stronger. You want to get more strength and more range of motion. And then I'm going to go up, and I'm going to lean. And you can see I'm getting a really nice vertical range of motion for overhead reaching people that are you know, in a sport, they're throwing a ball. They need that overhead, maybe a volleyball player, all those things. This might be too small and too flat. Yeah, I think it might work, Bob. You know, even if your dog chewed on it, it's a little flat, it's still, yep, it's going to work. Not as good, but you can still get it to work. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, the final phase is once you get that far with it and you can actively reach up to here, you can go the ultimate stretch, well, the, what I consider the ultimate stretch, and go to a pull-up bar like this, and then just use your body weight, and that really stretches it. And then you're gonna get that gap, that subacromial gap, so that you minimize impingement problems in the future, and simply just hang. And you're gonna hang up to 30 seconds. Um, and uh, yeah, this a lot of this work was based upon, uh, let's see, what's his name again? Hold on. John Kirsch. Yeah, he was an orthopedic surgeon. He's uh, operated on a lot of shoulders, and this is uh, from his studies. Yeah, his book is called Shoulder Pain, The Solution and Prevention. Right. It's the fourth edition. as John Kirsch, K-I-R-S-C-H. Well, show him the book, Bob. Oh. Give him the good, yeah, give him the view. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good book. It really has changed how I, I look at shoulder treatment for this kind of uh, goal. I agree. So uh, this is feeling great, Bob. I'm having a good time hanging. So those... That's the series. You need to, uh, one or two sides of the ball, a pull-up bar, and you'll get that shoulder back into 100% function. So once again, Bob, we can do what? We can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go. But gosh darn, we're working on you it. You better believe And we're not going to stop. Say no more, Bob. All right. I will not. No, no more. <laughs> he didn't say no more. I said say no more. Turn it off.